All right, so here I am with Andreas from Sepultura at Wacken Open Air. How are you doing? Good, man. Great. How, is this is the Sepultura's third time at Wacken. Um, how, how was it? How was the performance right now, a few years ago? Oh, it was great. Uh, third year, as you said. We came here 2011 to, to release Kairos. And then uh, we tumbled the Bronx on the upcoming year. 2012 where we came here to with Tambor the Bronx yeah. and um, and now you know we did a, like a special chronological set list we tried to put at least one song from every album uh, and it was great response you know it was really great uh, this is environment this environment is amazing you know yeah. we play a little early at one but uh, it was packed you know it was sold out yeah. pretty much and the, the, the crowd was amazing it was beautiful yeah then you see, like you said, your first performance here was in 2011. Uh, why do you think it has taken so many years for Sepultura to, to come to Wacken, which became one of the biggest metal festivals in the world? I think it was a lot of gossip around, you know, the Max leaving the band and stuff. What, what is Sepultura, what is not Sepultura, reunion bullshit and all that kind of stuff, you know. That got in the way a little bit of our, of our business, you know. And uh, we never played with Max here. and uh, and. And then we left the band, and we we have to press through all this bullshit, you know, changing labels, and uh, you know, Igor left ten years later and stuff. So we had to took our time to rebuild, and you know, since 2011 we played three times, which is a pretty good mark. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> But like you said, the atmosphere here was really good, even though we played at one. Yeah. Uh, it was packed and everyone They're had ready, a great yes. time. They're ready. Uh, I mean, does it feel like it is the true mecca of metal here? Yeah, I think so, man. You know, it's a, it's a festival that it doesn't matter what kind of acts are playing, they are sold out, you know, they're very faithful. They have a, a, an amazing structure, not only for the fans, but for the bands, you know, we have opportunity to see our friends and from bands and crew and, you know, producers and everything. And, um, you know, people from all over the world, you know, it's not a German festival, it's like a, a world festival, you know, you see flags from all over the places. That's why I mentioned the flags, because they are, you know, they are representation of each one of them, where they come from, you know, and make a metal nation, you know, so uh, it's great to be here, man, it's awesome. Yeah, and uh, how does your usual day at a festival look like? What do you, when you come in, do you just prepare for the show and then do a few interviews, or do you have some time to relax or watch a few bands? It depends on the festival, you know, like big festivals like that, we have a pretty busy schedule, you know, signing session and uh, interviews, of course the show and everything. But we have time really to enjoy, to watch a little bit of the shows and to talk to friends and stuff, you know. They have, like I said, you know, a pretty uh, nice setup. It's not raining, you know. Yeah. Thank Satan. <laughs> well, and, uh, it's great, you know, to have this environment here. Thankfully, you missed the rain yesterday. Until yesterday, I it was know, raining. Yeah, so I heard. We were kind of uh, scared, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, today's great. Yeah, that's why I had to buy my new new shoes because my my boots were leaked through. Oh, mine's pretty clean. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> um, you recently released a new song, Sepultura, under my skin. Yes. And. Uh, you announced that it was de it's dedicated for your fans, especially those who have uh, Sepultura tattoos. Um, and I also noticed that Sepultura has a very strong fan base. Um, what, why do you what do you think makes it so strong and so close to the band? Um, I think because we are very honest of, of what we do, man. You know, we we don't try to to cheat or to to fake. You know, we are what we are. You know, it's like a, since we came down. Uh, of the first days from Brazil, you know, we did what we did. Uh, you know, for a Brazilian band to be recognized all over the world without changing your style, it, it's great, you know. I mean, we change, you know, of course, bringing new elements and stuff, but our music basically is the same, yeah, you know, it's like aggressive and, you know, extreme guitars and drums, vocals, uh, and, you know, I, I think this is a uh, we we gain and lose fans doing that you know trying to do different albums and you know uh, not trying to repeat our the formula whatever that is you know but uh, I think that's why 30 years now regardless of different formations and different technological you know releases like from vinyl to CD to download now vinyl again <laughs> you know it's, it's it's great we're still here you know because 
we are very honest, you know, we don't try to, to bullshit no one, you know, we are what we are. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, great as well. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's very true. <laughs> and you, you said you're, you're still here and you're celebrating 30 years of Sepultura. Yes. And you also just toured North America uh, as part of the tour. So how, how's, the, how's the whole anniversary tour going? Amazing, man. It's beautiful to celebrate in such a great momentum. It's like two years already touring for The Mediator, our last album. Uh, we've been everywhere in the world, you know, uh, play the big festivals. We just did Rock in Rio in Las Vegas with Steve Vai, which was an amazing experience. Uh, did a North American tour. We do in Brazil, you know, we're coming to UK in November and Scandinavia. And, you know, it's great. It's great. I mean, what, what else can I ask for, you know? It's just like 30 years and we have such amazing, great opportunities, you know? And, we still love what we do, you know, we still love to be on stage and to, to be with our fans and it's great. Yeah, there's probably, a, I don't know if it's a difficult question to answer, but a, or a typical question to ask, uh, 30 years is a long time, but uh, what, what have been the few highlights for you so far? Uh, fortunately, you know, there are, there are many highlights, <laughs> you know, if you look back, there are so many beautiful moments in our career which is amazing, you know, I think it's really hard, you know, to point, like, uh, you know, but I mean, Rock in Rio in 91 was very special for us, yeah. especially in Brazil, you know, to open the doors in our own country and stuff. Um, Castle Donington and, you know, the release of Roots, which was an amazing project, you know, very fantastic, you know, recollection of all of our roots, you know, from the Indians, the you know, our own European uh, influence, the, the slaves, you know, with the percussion and everything, and that was a big mark. And of course, Derry coming in and all the changes. I mean, everything's a highlight, man, yeah. you know. A highlight doesn't necessarily have to be a positive, good thing, <laughs> yeah. you know. There's so many fucked up things that happens that it, it will show you a, a different way and a better way, you know. And uh, we kept our heads up, you know, and that's why we're here. Yeah. Everything makes you stronger, whether it's exactly. good or bad. Exactly. No, it's very true. Yeah. Very the good and bad, you know, especially the difficult times, you know, when you have to see uh, into yourself and really have to make decisions and and you, you grow, you know, not only as a musician, but especially as people. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, we talked about the North American tour just now, um, but you also performed alongside Steve Vai there in Las Vegas, didn't you? Um, how's that experience? That must have been something different. You know, besides Moses, Sepultura talked to God. <laughs> <laughs> and he's alive and well playing guitar. <laughs> so what did God tell you? Uh, he told us that, you know, it was amazing to play with Sepultura and that, you know, was enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, all you needed Steve, to hear. Dude, Steve Vai is an amazing human being, uh, one of the best musicians in the world, in the history of the human you know, mankind. And, um, you know, I, I follow Steve Vai for, for a long time, you know, as a guitar player, of course, you know, he's uh, alongside Jimi Hendrix and Van Halen, you know, another big revolutionary of the instrument. And, you know, to have him there, to play with us, our style, you know, we played Bad Horsey as well, you know, doing the percussion and, yeah. you know, it was amazing, man. I mean, it's, he brought his whole family, he was very excited and it showed, you know, it was very, it was very cool. I mean, hopefully we can have the chance to do that again, you know, it was, it was amazing. If you're lucky, you can talk to God again. Oh yeah, man! <laughs> I keep praying. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after Vakan, you're uh, performing Brutal Assault in Czech Republic. Uh, that's also their like 20th anniversary. So it's uh, the, I love Brutal Assault, yeah. man. I mean, Vakan is great, but Brutal Assault, it's. <laughs> it's it's what, what it does what it says on the tin. It's brutal. Oh my god, it's fucking brutal. It's amazing. I love brutal. So I think we played three or four times yeah. there as well, and I can't wait. You know, I, I love the Czech Republic. Uh, the fans are so faithful, so intense. You know, and uh, again, you know, it's very well put. It you know, great festival, great bands. You know, it's almost like you know the same environment we have here. You know, with yeah. friends around and stuff and. It's going to be great, man. You know, Brutal Assault is one of the best. Awesome. 
Uh, I, I wish I w w w were there, but unfortunately I can't make it. Uh, but yeah, one of one of our photographers and reporters is going to be there. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you're also playing Bloodstock, I think. Yes. Like, day before, or day after, or something. Yeah, Bloodstock is another amazing festival, man. We did like um, I think we did it once, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it was amazing experience as well. And uh, you know, being in UK, it's special. You know, I think it's gonna be. Well, we're gonna play Bloodstock and then another Dublin uh, show. But uh, it's a very special uh, set, and we're very happy to be there too. Yeah. Um, at at Brutal Assault, Soulfire also playing. Will you have time to catch up with uh, Max or? I don't or know, not, man. Not really. It's not really about time. Yeah. It's about the wheel, really, too. Yeah. You know. To talk to people Definitely. that are worth it, you yeah. know. But sort of we're gonna go going. there to, to to do our stuff, you know. If we have a chance to to meet, fine. If not, <laughs> let's go. All right, fair enough. Um, so, are uh, are you working on the new material? Any new material for to follow up album? We're or? starting. Yeah, we're starting to to think about the new album. I have lots of riffs around. I I always write, you know, stuff here and there. Eloy as well have like some ideas on drums and we're gonna start really exchanging those ideas and but we have I mean we're gonna take our time you know really for a second yeah. half of 2016 release you know but uh, yeah I'm gonna start working on it awesome I'm looking forward to it awesome thank you <laughs> and uh, one final question um, I was uh, looking through the internet before coming here and uh, I noticed that your your whole back back catalog is on Spotify um, so, where do you stand in the whole streaming digital download debate? Yeah, I think streaming it's uh, it, it's not very healthy, you know, business-wise, because you have the music there, whatever you have internet, you know, it's uh, I think you should have a kind of a limitation, you know, not totally open, free and stuff. I know our stuff is there, you know, people demand it and everything, but uh, I think you have to you have to really to. You know, to create some kind of uh, respect, you know, around. Yeah. You know, we worked a lot for that. You know, to to for have for you to have like you know a riff <laughs> going on and stuff. And you know, it's it, it, it would be nice if we have this kind that kind of uh, uh, recognition. You know, but um, yeah, if you have a type of limitation to you know, it's like a taste. Let's say if you go to a supermarket or something, you want to buy a cheese, you, you know, it tastes, oh, that's good, I'm going to get it, but you buy the cheese, you know, you don't keep eating the cheese there in the supermarket <laughs> until, you know, it's like a taste, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah? so, uh, but I think metal fans are very faithful, you know, they yeah. want to have the CD, they want to have the vinyl, they want to have the poster, the special magazine and stuff, you know, yeah. they are a true fan, you know, metal fan is a true fan, and, yeah. Uh, and usually when they come to the concerts, they buy the merchandise. Exactly. Yeah, they wanna they want the official stuff. You know, they they are a part of all of this. Without the fans, nothing nothing like this will be possible. You know, they're there like so sold out. They are dead. You know, buying all the tickets like in a few minutes. You know, because yeah. they are faithful fans. You know, they support metal. They don't care what band they're playing. They are there for to support metal, yeah. which is very important, you know. And every show is a great response. Every show, it's a great show for everybody around, you know. There's not a competition here, you know. It's like ego trips for the rock stars. <laughs> but everywhere, it's like really have a nice place on stage, and you know, you have the whole structure to to do a great show, and their fans respond for that, you know. It's amazing. Probably that's why metal will keep on going and going forever. <laughs> metal forever. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Uh, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thanks, man. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay here. And good I luck will. with your other you shows. Too. Thank you.